Hello, I'm Kim Miller from Women at the Well Ministries, and I am thrilled that we're going to have a moment of time to spend together and discuss the angelgram entitled Faithless and Fearful. Our scripture today comes from Mark chapter 4, verses 40 through 41. And the scripture reads as this, And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? This passage of scripture deals with the disciples and Jesus being in a boat on the water, and there was a storm. And Jesus was asleep, and the King James says, in the hinder parts of the boat. And when the storm began to rise, and the things got scary, the disciples were sore afraid. And they no doubt were carrying on a mess. And they wanted to know from Jesus, you know, wake the master. Why is he sleeping? Does he not care that we perish? And his response to them is this. Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have not faith? We are not sailing alone in this world, my friend. Our captain is the master. When he speaks, even the winds and the waves obey his will. Jesus wasn't sleeping because he didn't care. Sleep, Jesus was sleeping because he didn't have a care. There's a big difference. Jesus proves his love to us each and every day. He proved his love to us when he laid his life down on the cross of Calvary. Jesus cares about us. But Jesus doesn't have a care in the world, which means Jesus doesn't worry. Remember, the Bible tells us that all things are under his feet. Jesus loves us. He provides for us, and he protects us. It's the seed of doubt. It's the sin in our lives. It's that fear that swells up in us, that detaches us from the peace of living in his presence. Today, you have a choice. You can live in his presence, and you can feel the peace that comes with that, or you can care all about your anxieties. You can feel the cares of the world. You can feel the weight of the world. But Jesus said that he would take our burden and give us his, and that his burden was light. I invite you today to place your fears and your cares in the hands of a God who cares for you. We open up our angelgram with this. Hello, my friend. I know that the events of the day can make you anxious. Nevertheless, God is right there with you, and he is in control. Open up your heart. When things start to overwhelm you, just pray. If you're talking to him, you will surely know he is there. Flash those pearly whites. You have lots to be happy about. Our scripture today that we're focusing on again is in Mark chapter 4, verses 40 through 41. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? I will tell you who he is. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the creator of the universe. He is the giver of life. He is savior of the world, and he is your friend. You have nothing to fear. God knows you personally, and you have developed a wonderful relationship with him. He is in control, and he loves you and wants only what is best for you. Yes, he's to be reverenced, and his wrath is to be feared. We need to fear those. And it needs to be feared most by those who don't serve him. But for a child of God in right standing with him, why fear? Even the waves obey his voice. He is the I am and everyone and everything bows to him. 
You have nothing to fear. Look who holds your hand. Our angel to angel chat. There are lots of things that cause the heart to tremble, but you can quickly stop those tremors with a visit to the throne. And by the way, the throne is always open. When you take a close look at who he is and realize how special you are to him, then you are able to laugh at fear. Nothing causes God to shake, and he is your foundation. Whatever comes your way, you are steady because he is strong. Unmovable hand is always holding yours. Lift your hands and praise him because his presence is all around you and he deserves your praise. Remember, God loves you. You are loved. Key thought, there is no need to fear because God is near.